today we will discuss phase rule and uh, one component system phase diagram of uh, phase diagram of one component system so we'll start with phase rule today so first what is uh, phase rule okay so phase rule is a relation is a relation between between the number of components and we denote component by C the number of phases number of component the number of phases We represent phase by P and the variable parameters we call degrees of freedom. And we define degrees of freedom by f of a heterogeneous system in equilibrium. The phase rule is was first introduced by Gibbs in the year of 1876, and the phase rule it is it is expressed as F is C minus P plus two. Okay. So, it deals with what it does, it deals with with the effects which changes in pressure, temperature and concentration. will have on the equilibria of heterogeneous systems. Okay. So, it deals with the effects which changes in pressure, temperature and concentration will have on the equilibria of heterogeneous system. Now, what is phase? Okay. Because in order to understand phase rule, we need to understand component, we need to understand phase. Okay. So, first we will start with what is phase. Okay, so a phase is defined by a phase is defined as a physically distinct but homogeneous part of a system so 
separated from other parts by boundary surface. So, how do you define phase? So, phase is defined as a physically distinct but homogeneous part of a system separated from other parts by boundary surface. Okay. For example, simplest example is liquid water is in equilibrium with water vapor. Okay. So, liquid water the liquid region is homogeneous, water vapor region is homogeneous and they are separated by a surface or interface. Okay. Thus, we can write thus a heterogeneous system heterogeneous system is composed of two or more phases, right. So, homogeneous phase means only one phase, heterogeneous system means two or more number of phases. Okay. So, we can write the gas mixture is homogeneous, right. Okay. Similarly, Similarly, homogeneous solution, homogeneous solution is also homogeneous. Whatever the number of components in the solution are, okay. On the other hand, if you consider the decomposition of calcium carbonate, solid calcium carbonate into calcium oxide and CO2, here we have how many phases? We have three phases, one for calcium carbonate solid, another is calcium oxide, another is carbon dioxide gas. Okay. So, each solid surface or each, 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 uh, each, each every solute constitutes a separate phase. Okay. So, it says each solute, each solid solute rather, each solid solute or each solids constitutes A phase. Okay. So, this is a three phase system. Okay. So, CaCO3 is in equilibrium with CaO and CO2 is, is a three phase system. Okay. So, we have defined we have defined phases. Now, what is component? Next, okay. So, component we can define like the minimum number of independent chemical 
constituents by which the composition of the composition of phase of the system can be expressed. Okay, determines the number of components. Okay, so, how do we define components? The minimum number of independent chemical constituents by which the composition of phase of the system can be expressed determines the number of components. Okay. Remember, one thing you should remember is the components of system the components of a system are not synonymous with the constituents of the system. So, the components of a system are not synonymous with the constituents of the system. So, we should remember that. Okay. We will we'll discuss this one uh, with one example. Okay. Now, let us see how we can determine components ok. We will we'll, we'll, we'll consider uh, several examples. For example, li water liquid is in equilibrium with suppose water vapor. Okay. Here number of components, number of components is 1 right, you have only water ok. Now, for the case of suppose CaCO3 we just discussed okay CaCO3 solid is in equilibrium with CaO solid plus CO2 gas okay so in this case or in this equilibrium we have three chemical constituents okay but total number of components is not 3 here. Okay. So, here we have 3 chemical constituents. Okay. But C is not Three here because there is one restriction here. One restriction is there. Okay, because of the restriction, what is the restriction? The restriction here is the amount of. CaO and CO2 must be equivalent, right? Must be equivalent. Okay. So, we can write number of components C is number of constituents C prime minus number of restriction.
Okay. Similarly, we can consider aqueous solution of NaCl aqueous sodium chloride solution another case okay we are considering aqueous sodium chloride solution for this case how many constituents constituents are there three h2o na plus and cl minus right but restriction is what restriction is number of sodium ion is equal to number of chloride ion, chloride ion right. So, it depicts that C or component number of components is 2 here very good ok. So, next we consider a phase diagram ok of water we can we will consider one first we will start with one component system ok. So, phase diagram of so we will consider first we will consider phase diagram ok first we consider one component system. one component system one component systems are comprised of pure substances only So, one component systems are comprised of pure substances only ok. For example, ok for example, water ok. So, the simplest and a typical example will be that of a system containing water right. So, we, we discuss today we will discuss phase diagram of water ok. under ordinary conditions there are 3 possible phases of water right. The ordinary condition we can have three phases of waters ok. What are those three phases? Ice ok and then we have liquid water and then we have water vapor. these are the three phases one can have at ordinary conditions ok. Now, if we draw pressure temperature diagram for water we 
we are plotting here pressure versus temperature. we get like this right. So, this is suppose one atmospheric pressure and this is zero degree Celsius ok and this is degree Celsius ok. So, now if we level them this is suppose point O, this is A, this is B and this is C ok. And at point O At point O, the pressure is 4.58 millimeter of mercury, and then uh, temperature at point O is 0 0.0075 degree Celsius. Okay, so, here we have liquid water in this region, we get ice in this region, and the, in this region, we get water vapor. Okay. Now, OA, okay, every points on OA okay, gives liquid water is in equilibrium with water vapor. So, along line O A along the curve O A liquid water is in equilibrium with water vapor. Similarly, along line O C solid ice is in equilibrium with liquid water or OC represents solid liquid coexistence line. Similarly, OA represents liquid vapor coexistence line. Similarly, we can write for O B this is nothing but solid ice water vapor coexistence. Right. Okay, so, along this line solid ice and water they are in water means water uh, vapor here huh? water vapor they are in equilibrium with each other. Okay. Now, suppose we start with a point from here x. Okay. x has, so x is x falls in liquid water region. So, at point x, Compon number of component is always we are considering one component system pure water. So, component is 1. You have only liquid water at point x. So, pressure is 1. So, what is what is f? So, f is okay. So, 1 minus 1 plus 2. So, 2. 
So, this region is bivariate means you can change both pressure and temperature without, without disturbing the system. Suppose, you can take point x somewhere here, here or here or here or here. Okay. So, you can do that without disturbing the system. Now, suppose we keep the temperature fixed and if we start from point x and if we decrease the pressure to point y like this. So, this is our point y. So, at point y what do we get? At point y again C is 1, how many phases are there? As we mentioned along line O A we have two phases. So, number of phase there are two means they we there we have liquid water as well as water vapor. Okay. So, it gives F is 1, now degrees of freedom is 1 there okay, at point 1 y means we can change either pressure or temperature not both simultaneously. Okay. Now, if we decrease the pressure further keeping the temperature constant, what we get? We, we arrive at a point z. Okay. So, at point z, we have only water vapor. Number of component is 1, phase is again 1. Okay. So, F is 2. So, here also like point x we can we can change both pressure and temperature. Okay. Now, what is point 2? At point 2. So, at point 2 all three phases of water coexist, right. So, you get all the three phases there okay. and at point O F is 0. Okay. So, degrees of number of degrees of freedom at point O is 0. So, you cannot change anything there it's fixed okay the next thing okay at one atmospheric pressure okay at one atmospheric pressure here the point on oc line suppose this is we say this is x prime so, x prime at point O x prime and then here it is. So, in x prime ice and solid ice and liquid water they coexist and it and, and, and the temperature of point x prime is 0 degrees Celsius right. So, x prime represents the freezing point of water. Similarly, the point y prime Okay, so, y prime again falls on O A line and at, point at y prime the temperature is 100 degree Celsius. So, so, it represents the boiling point of water. Okay. Next, we cannot just go uh, the what is what is point A here? Okay, so at point A, we cannot extend point A. So at point A, we get temperature. At point A, temperature is three seventy four degrees Celsius, and the pressure at point A is. is 218 atmosphere. Okay. 
Okay, so, so this temperature at point A temperature is and pressure is 218 atmosphere. Okay. So, point A is known as critical point. So, at critical point you cannot distinguish liquid phase from vapor phase. Okay. So, this temperature 374 degree Celsius known as critical temperature or T c and 218 atmospheric pressure it is known as critical pressure or P c. Okay. Next we can or note here you can make a note here okay. it is possible to cool water below its freezing point without solidification. The liquid below its freezing point is said to remain in super cold state. Okay. So, this is not a, this state is not a, a quite stable, but it is possible to cool water below its freezing point without solidification the solidification. Okay. Like if we extend this line or this curve O A to here O D this okay. So, we can get liquid water without getting ice okay, without solidification. Okay, so, that is we discussed uh, uh, so far we discussed the uh, phase diagram of water we will discuss now the phase diagram of carbon dioxide. So, it is very similar to that of water except except one thing ok. We will see that So, this is the phase diagram of carbon dioxide. Again O represents o, o is triple point of triple point of CO2 okay. and pressure 
where pressure is 5.11 atmosphere and temperature is minus 56.6 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, the for CO2 the pressure at triple point is 5.11 atmosphere and temperature is minus 56.6 degrees Celsius. What is the difference there between the phase diagram of water and CO2? Here the solid liquid coexistence curve for CO2, the slope of this curve OB is positive here. So, and and for 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 water the solid uh, the, the slope of the solid liquid coexistence curve is negative that is the difference here first thing okay now second thing so so here what we what we can from this phase diagram what we can infer let's see so this is tc at a critical temperature of CO2 and this is 31.2 degree Celsius and Tc this is Pc. Okay. So, Pc is so Tc critical temperature of uh, CO2 is 31.2 degree Celsius and pressure is 73 atmosphere okay. so what we can infer here first is at triple point at at, at critical point at critical point Tc is 31.2 degrees Celsius and Pc is 73 atmosphere. Second, at triple point, temperature is minus 56.6 degrees Celsius and pressure is 5.11 atmosphere. Third, OB has positive slope unlike that of water or phase diagram of water. Fourth point which is very important. liquid CO2 cannot exist below 5.11 atmosphere whatever the value of temperature is okay so if you if you look at the phase diagram of water what you find okay below 5.11 atmospheric pressure suppose at this point here okay so you cannot get liquid co2 Okay, so, even if you increase the temperature, if you increase the temperature you get CO2 gas, if you decrease the temperature you get solid CO2. Okay. So, you cannot get liquid CO2 below 5.11 atmospheric pressure whatever the temperature is, remember that. Okay. Next point. At normal pressure, at 
means when P is one atmosphere, we said, if we move from move from point A to point B, what do you get? Sublimation occurs. means we get, so if we point A is here and we get point B. So, if we, if we go like this point A to point B, we get from solidite, we solidize we get CO2 gas, from solid to gas we get, we get, uh, we, we, we obtain, sub, we, we see sublimation, okay. Number 6. Since the triple point, since the triple point triple point pressure is higher than than the external pressure, suppose external pressure is 1 atmosphere pressure, solid CO2 reaches to the CO2 gas. CO2 gas without melting, right. So, basically 0.5 and 6 are very same, very similar, okay. So, uh, why we get a sublimation if we go from point A to point B? Because the triple point of CO2 is higher than one atmospheric pressure. Okay. So, that is why we get sublimation at normal pressure. That is all about the phase diagram of CO2. Thank you.